Greetings once again to my beautiful people of this wonderful magical world. It's a Tuesday, the 10th of January, 2012. Today's talk is entitled, What Be the Problem? What could it be? What could it be? What be the problem? Mankind caught sleepwalking. I find myself faced with this question time and time again. What could it be keeping good, strong, beautiful, independent, productive men and women on their knees in low vibrational consciousness? What could it be keeping strong men, women, blindly following dogma without questioning it? What could it be holding mankind down like a man holds a ball under the water? What could it be? I am calling attention to the world that we are being misled by some extraordinary, powerful, occult, mystical, other world technologies that are changing the evolution of the human race from what it was supposed to be in its creation to where and how the dark powers of this world are leading the human race into a different world. We have no idea in the world how bad it's really going to be because there will be no space for freedom. Intellectual freedom, spiritual freedom, liberty, justice, none of that. Are you satisfied with the picture you've been given about the past? More and more evidence is coming out very gradually, very slowly, but very surely. This evidence is beginning to overwhelm the old historical model that we have been living with. It's most important of all to question authority. If we just blindly follow what the so-called authority tells us, we are never going to make progress in any ideas. It's essential to keep an open mind to all possibility and not be bound down by theories and ideas put forward by the entrenched establishment who has an invested interest in those very ideas. I speak out of love to the human family. I speak out of respect and concern. It's now the table must turn. I hear this being said time and time again where people accuse me of speaking about the negative. Is there anything wrong, I ask, about speaking about the negative? I don't think so. I see more negative in not confronting the negative. And I can only speak from how I perceive reality. Negativity grows when we choose to ignore it. By bravely facing it, we could bring evil and negative actions to a dead end. The word ignorance comes from the word ignore. So the more we ignore the problem, the bigger the problem gets. And the more ignorant we become as a people. 
So when you hear me using the word ignorant, I am actually saying that we lack the knowledge. We ignore the knowledge. And when we receive the knowledge, we look the other way and we ignore it, manifesting ignorance. That could be the problem. Or should I humble myself down and ask the listener, could that be the problem? You decide. But one thing I ask from each and every member of this beloved family is that please don't ignore it. Remember one thing. Strong people from strong families Strong families from strong communities. Strong communities from strong societies. Strong societies from strong nations. Strong nations from strong civilizations. And strong civilizations from a strong, true and genuine decision. With that, I leave you all with peace, love, and harmony. Thank you for your time. We we'll see you again. Beloved.